Hey guys, welcome back. And um, in this one, we're going to continue by setting up our stop state. Um, if you remember in the last one, we set up our movement start into cycle. And it seems clean, everything looks well. But he was stuck in the, well he is stuck in the cycle state. Now, let's set up our stopping state. So, we're going to drag off of cycle and we're going to say movement stop this one is also going to be pretty quick and the transition rule we're going to promote that to shared and we're going to say should stop we're going to call it should stop um, yeah we're going to open this up and we're going to get should move and we're going to just say not so if should move is not true then we should stop pretty simple stuff um, now, if I try to move, you can see he will transition into the stop state and enter the A pose. So now let's create one more transition from movement stop to idle. The blend, uh, the blend time to blend duration is going to be 0.25. I'm going to change this to an initialization blend. We're going to open this up. And what we need to check for is the velocity. So if the velocity is nearly zero and we're going to give it a small tolerance or well, a decent tolerance of 0.1 and um that was that will be it for this uh so now he will enter the stop state and go back to idle as you can see right here everything works fine now let's set up the stopping state so it's pretty simple um we're gonna open movement cycle and we're going to do a nice copy again <laughs> save us the time and um, for this one what we can do is copy from the gate we won't need this information here so let's copy and we're going to be using a sequence evaluator instead of a sequence player since distance matching requires the sequence evaluator <laughs> um, so um, let's right click I'm going to get a sequence evaluator and highlight the node and we're going to set should loop to false set a port to explicit time to false we are going to set the explicit time to a dynamic value and we want to expose the pin for um, the sequence for the explicit time as well we're going to uncheck expose this pin so we won't see that value here and now all you need to do is slot it in now compile and save. Um, we usually grab like one of the structs with the values and plug it up, but um, I'm going to show you this way as well, right? Um, so highlight your sequence evaluator node, and we're going to do on the com relevant, and we are going to create a new binding for this, and the binding is going to be called um, update, not update, but set. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's call it set stop distance. Now it's pretty simple. All we need is we're gonna from the node you want to convert to a sequence uh, evaluator, pure function, and we want to say set sequence. Actually, no, we're going to promote this to a local variable, and we're gonna call this sequence evaluator. If I can spell right. Um, whatever, it's, it's not spell right at all. I'm horrible. <clears throat> right, so now all we need to do is right click, get property access, and the property access node we're gonna we're gonna be uh, we what we would like is the use separate break in friction. We're going to duplicate this property access. Uh, we will need a few of these. So the, the next one is going to be breaking friction. So it's basically all the settings that we specify in our uh, gate data component. So let's get the breaking friction. And we will need the ground friction as well. 
So this is uh, this is not from the gate data component, but we're going to be using it here. Um, the next one is going to be our breaking friction factor. And lastly, it will be our breaking deceleration walking. So breaking deceleration walking. Now, um, we need our velocity xy. So let's get our velocity xy, place it here. And we want to call a function called predict um, ground movement stop location. And we're gonna plug in our velocity Use separate breaking friction, breaking friction, ground friction, breaking friction factor, and our breaking deceleration walking. So we're going to get the length of this return value, and we're going to use that to set our stop distance. So we're going to promote this to a local variable. Let's call this stop distance, and we're going to plug it up. And now, how do we calculate this? So, um, let's get our stop distance and check if it's greater than zero. So, if the stop distance is greater than zero, it's true. Then we um, distance match. So, I'm going to right click and they say distance match the target. We're going to plug this up. We're going to promote this distance curve name to a variable. I'll show you how to add uh, distance curves to your animations in a future video. Um, so compile and save. Um, we will get an error, but don't worry about it. Let's highlight the name and we're going to name, we're going to set the name to distance, capital D, I S T A N C E. No errors, no space, no nothing distance it needs to be specific um, now the reason we're getting this error is because of the sequence evaluator so let's plug in our local variable for the sequence evaluator our distance match to our distance uh, to target will be our stop distance and um, we're going to return so let's get the return node and plug it up Oop. yeah so now what we'll need as well is to just uh, advance the advance the time so advance the time if the stop distance is uh, not greater than zero so it's going to call advanced time connected to false we're going to get our play rate and plug it up right here we will need our context so let's get context and we'll need our sequence evaluator local variable and return. Now I'm going to straighten this out. I'll just add this, this here right here. Straighten everything. Compile, save. Now back in here, what we need to do, hook this up to our chalk. Um, we're going to duplicate this to three, four. You can set, um, this is a little task for you actually. So for the true pose, um, you can simply duplicate this and uh, we won't need the gate if you're in the crouching state because it's only going to be walking. And so you can just slot your animations directly in here and you can do the same for all of the other states. And uh, yeah, I'll probably cover it in a, in a later video, but I don't think it's necessary. You already know everything else. Um, so right, so for the jogging, full forward, backward, left and right. Now all we need to do is set our animations. So I'm going to search for stop, jog. I'm going to slot these in. So forward. Oop. Can I not? Okay, I guess I can't. I need to search. So jog, stop. I'm simply going to copy the name. So jog forward, jog backward, jog left stop and right stop. Now, um, everything should be fine for the stopping animations. So, now as you can see, he gets frozen. <laughs> and uh, this is due to uh, that stop distance was here on, on become relevant. We're going to remove this from here and we're going to set 
it to on update so set stop distance here and um i think i need to do for the rest of the nodes yeah so set stop distance uh yeah so compile save and now you can see you can play the stopping animations so you can see the others aren't set uh just yet i i think i know what happened um when you highlighted all of them it did not set it to all of them so set stop distance here this one did not set it so set stop distance this one as well set stop distance and the first one set stop distance and we're going to uncheck this uh teleport explicit time to make sure everything is unchecked so these are your settings ensure that uh they are the same now let's test it out so forward cycle stop right cycle stop left cycle stop and backward cycle stop now um you may notice that if i i uh start a move and then i release the key he does something crazy this is because he is trying to go into well he starts the movement start state and since i release the key he doesn't know to stop he, he still tries to enter the cycle then goes into the stop and then back to the idle so we're going to create two transitions from moving start to stop so the transition is going to be our shared transition should start well should stop sorry should stop and from stop to start is going to be should start just really as simple as that now if you want to debug this what you can do is drag it to the left select to the right and uh hit the little arrow up here and set our ABP spawned actor and now you can see idle is highlighted and you can see it's active now if I try to move move and start cycle and I could go into the stopping state so if I so our new transitions here are working so you can see boom All right so yeah so that's it for this one guys and see ya